what, what the lady is talking about. What's up, family? Johnny Brown, the actor who played Housing Project Superintendent Nathan Bookman on my favorite television show ever, Good Times, is dead at 84. According to online reports, Johnny was at his doctor's office in LA Wednesday getting his pacemaker checked out when he went into cardiac arrest and collapsed. He was taken to a nearby hospital where he died. Johnny was a protege of Sammy Davis Jr. He was a singer, comedian, and Broadway actor before landing the role on Good Times, which was his breakout role. He joined the show in 1975 in the middle of season two. Johnny is survived by his wife, whom he married 61 years ago, and his son, John Jr. 61 years of marriage. Well, they gave it a hell of a run. 61 years. He lived to be 84 years. 61 years in Hollywood, married to the same woman? Oh, man, that is a testament to commitment. Man. While uh, doing research about uh, Johnny, I stumbled across the fact that he was a nightclub promoter. I knew he could sing well, right? Because he used to sing, you know, they featured him singing a few times on Good Times. But I didn't know he had put out albums and stuff. The dude had put out some albums, signed with Columbia and all kinds of stuff. So the dude was a very talented person. And he starred in a number of sitcoms and, and movies. So, you know, he had a hell of a run in Hollywood. Johnny was a scene stiller especially in good times. You knew each time he walked into the room, he was about to bring it. I mean, you could prepare to laugh out loud. Some of the best scenes he had was with Janae Dubois, who played Walona. The banner between those two was golden. I mean, it was priceless. Ironically, my favorite episode with him was with Walona, where he played her husband. They were pretending to be married so that Walona could adopt Penny, who was played by Janet Jackson. Oh, man, yeah. Iconic, iconic, iconic. And she used to call him Buffalo Butt. Well, not just her, but Walona called him Buffalo Butt, and, and so did the others, including Esther Rowe, uh, who played Florida the mother, matriarch of the family. Good time, there ain't nothing touching good time. I don't care what you say. I don't care. You know, there's been some other good sitcoms, of course, but I think Good Times is always gonna be my favorite because it was the first of its kind to really just resonate with me. That role that, that, that was played by Jan, John Amos, James Evans, oh man, man's man, I loved it. You knew when you came to that house, there was a man on the other side of that door and he stood up, a loving father, husband, dedicated, hardworking, catching hard times left and right. I mean, no matter what he did, old James couldn't catch a break. But James never broke. You know, I, I love that role, man. I like me, that, that John Amos, man. That that was that role of Jan, James Evans. Oh yeah, man. Bring that bring those type of roles back as far as like the real catch, you know. Now, the only thing I ain't like about it is that he couldn't get no money. And I'm like, man, I can't I can't see living that without no money. Not not just not I mean, I could see being, you know, getting caught up or whatever, or, you know trying to build my way up, not having no bread, and then getting to the bread, but never getting to the bread? Oh, hell no. Mm. Something got to give, man. So that's the only part I didn't like. 
I didn't mind the struggle as long as there was reward at the end of the struggle, you know. But just not have it, you know, like, nah. Scratching and surviving, I'm cool, you know what I'm saying? Because I got it from the mud. So I know how to scratch and survive, you know. But I don't want to just scratch and survive forever. I want to thrive. I want to live. I want to enjoy the fruits of my labor. Enjoy some of the finer things in life. You know, the luxuries of life. I want all of that. And, and then some. It's sad and painful to see your idols go. Good times was the soundtrack of my life. Like, yeah, man, I can watch that stuff now. Even I remember when my kids got old enough to understand what's going on, I bought the box set and they fell in love with it. Before that, they didn't watch any of the old sitcoms and stuff. I guess they thought it was dated or whatever, but, you know, I bought that box set. They started watching it and got hooked. Good times. Oh, man, it's produced some great times for me. That theme song, one of the best ever, which, by the way, was written allegedly by Dave Grusin, a white guy. I don't believe it. Now, here's the deal, fam. There have been some great white composers out there. I mean, very, very good. But... To write a song like Good Times, you have to have experienced it. Like that is something that comes from the soul. It's cultural. So this is why I don't believe that this guy could write a song like that. I just don't believe it. I, you know, if you know, I don't believe he wrote the song. You know, think what you will, but I just don't believe he wrote that song. I don't believe it. But anyway, fam, we'll, we'll talk about that another day. Uh, right now, it's all about saluting Johnny Brown, a.k.a. Bookman. Wow, man, what a body of work. Somebody who brought a whole lot of smiles to a plethora of people. R.I.P. Johnny Brown. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.